Hello and welcome to another episode. In this video I'm going to show you how to get stripes like this on your lawn with a homemade DIY lawn roller. Let's go. So all of these items I picked up at Home Depot. This is just a 4 inch PVC pipe. They sell it at this length already. Pretty convenient. Uh, I'm just going to measure out how, how long I want it to be. For this one it's going to be the width of the wheelbase. And the reason for that is because I want the roller to be able to roll the lawn as far as the wheels. It's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so I'm gonna start off by cutting where I marked with an angle grinder and a cutting disc. This is not gonna be the best or straightest cut, but also it wasn't the straightest line either. And it kind of doesn't matter because I can just go back and make it even. Now you are gonna want it to be somewhat straight because when you put the end caps on they got to be flush so that they can make a good seal with the pvc cement it doesn't have to be perfect you know you're not trying to make it waterproof but you do want the caps to stay on I probably should have worn gloves here. But anyways, you can see how my cut is nowhere near perfect. That's no problem. I can just go over it a couple times with the angle grinder or sander and make it about as flush as I can. So once you get it flush enough, you're gonna wanna wipe off all the excess debris and you are gonna wanna leave it nice and clean and dry so that the cement has something to stick to. All right, so I'm just using some regular PVC cement, no primary, nothing crazy like that. Uh, again, all of this can be picked up at Home Depot. Uh, just gonna put nice coating on it, pop it into the pipe, and hold it for a couple of minutes. Give it a couple good wax to make sure it goes in there. And in case you wanted to know exactly what I was using, this is what I was using. OD Fusion Single Step PVC Pipe Cement. So this is what the finished product looks like. Now this is where I messed up. Not a big mess up but a hiccup nevertheless. Uh, the next step is to drill into it and attach the loop ends. And uh, yeah, yeah I definitely should have done that before gluing the cap on because now I have to stick my arm down the pipe to tighten the nuts. So pro tip, put the loop ends first, then glue the cap on. All right, so we're gonna get a drill bit the size or bigger of the eye bolt. Eye bolt, I don't know why I was calling it a loop end. And we're gonna drill in the very center of the cap. Now I'm gonna go bolt, washer, cap, washer, nut, in that order. And you can see why it was a bad idea to glue the cap on first. <laughs> Cause now I have to stick my arm in the pipe. So another thing worth pointing out is you don't wanna tighten the nut uh, really tight or even all the way because you want the roller to be able to spin on the bolt. If you do tighten it too tight, then it won't actually be rolling the lawn more as it'll be dragging across it. And it'll still be doing its job, but it won't be as effective. So now we just do the same thing to the other side, drill a hole in that cap, put in the bolt, washer, cap, washer, bolt, 
But before you glue it on, we're gonna put some, we're gonna add some weight to the roller. And you can see here how loose it is and how easy it is for the cap to spin on it. Therefore, how easy the roller is to spin. All right, so this is just some cheap uh, white marble chips. They're like little white stones, pretty generic stuff. Um, I think the whole bag was probably around three or four dollars five dollars max pretty cheap and I only use around a third of the bag so we're gonna fill it up almost all the way but not quite up to the brim because you still want the rest of the bowl to be able to sit all the way in there and if you overfill it the bowl will go all the way through and the cap won't sit flush on the pipe So here you get a pretty good idea of how much I filled it up. And now we're going to glue the last cap on the pipe. Pretty straightforward, just like the other one. Give it a coat or two, make it nice and even, and pop it on the pipe. Now again, we're just gonna let that sit for a few minutes. And now that it is dry, I'm gonna line it up with the mower. And I got some of this cheap chain used for like swings or something. And uh, I'm just going to measure how many lengths I need from the mower to the roller. Now, some mowers may already have a spot for you to attach chain or a carabiner. Mine kind of does, but I don't like the location, so I'm going to drill a hole into it anyways. Also, it is definitely not worth mentioning, but I'm going to say it anyways. Around this part of the video, I totally forgot that I had been playing some uh, Taylor Swift music in the background, so in order to not get sued, I'm just going to cut off all this audio. Taylor, if you're watching, I love you. Alright, so I got a couple of these carabiners. One is going to go through the bolt and the other is going to go through the hole that I'm about to drill on the frame of the mower. Now the reason I'm cutting it again is because I didn't take into account the length of the carabiner. So I had measured it perfectly, but the length of the carabiner adds onto the chain, so I'm gonna cut off a bit of the chain. All right, now I have marked out the spot where I want to drill, and I'm going to drill with the incorrect drill bit size with the incorrect pressure. So have fun watching that. All right, now that we have the correct drill bit, we're going to make this hole bigger, and then we will attach the other carabiner to this hole, and that is how the roller attaches to the mower. All 
And now the last thing left to do is to do the exact same thing to the right side that we did to the left side. And there you have it guys. This is how you make and attach your own homemade DIY lawn roller. I think the whole thing cost me around $40. Don't quote me on that. But there is a lot of things here that the average person would have in their house. Such as nuts, bolts, chain, PVC pipe, maybe cement. All kinds of random stuff. Especially the stones. Now unfortunately there is no video of me mowing the lawn because my camera just refused to videotape that for some reason. But here are the pictures again. Once again, this is the end of the video. If you liked, give me a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.